This is a walking at home workout. So we're gonna walk around London, we're gonna do a little bit of toning. Always do make sure you have done a warm up first. Now, the first exercise we're gonna do, we're gonna walk up to Windsor Castle. So while you're at home, simply follow along and just be marching on the spot. If your room is big enough, just walk up and down the room. And how it's gonna to work today, you're gonna to get to see some of the sights of London. We're gonna be doing a little bit of light cardio and we're gonna be stopping off at certain points and doing some toning. So so let's just keep going so you can see the beautiful Windsor Castle here just to your left as we go around the corner. So now we're going to walk up Castle Hill. Because we're walking up a hill, what I want you to do is just now, while you're marching on the spot home, just march a little bit faster for me. So we're just taking that intensity up a little bit. So let's just keep going. So this is a really fun new concept of mine. So you can be walking and seeing these beautiful cities as I've got Paris, we've got Venice coming soon and now London. So let's just keep going. So just join in. As I said, if you're at home, you can just walk backwards and forwards from one end of the room to the other. But the idea is let's just keep moving. So we're just looking after your health, getting fit and doing a fun workout at the same time. So always follow what I'm doing. So if I'm doing those arm circles, follow those and let's just power it through. Keep it up nice and fast, doing really well. And we're gonna now do a few little waist bends. So what I want you to do, just follow in when you're ready. We're just gonna reach from one side, then we're gonna twist from one side to the other and then just take that to a side bend. So we're just doing that in Church Street. So let's just keep going. Make sure you've got your knees slightly bent for me, tummy muscles pulled in tight and just reach. So this now we're working through your core, strengthening through the waist, keeping that going, that's good. So it's twist, twist, and then just reaching that from one side to the other. Keeping that going, that's good. So we've got lots of fun different toning moves with also then your walking in between. Keeping that going. All right, one side and then reach that over and take that to that twist. All right, so now we're gonna work, walk down Church Street. So then you've got a fantastic view there of Windsor Castle. So just go back to marching on the spot for me, keeping that going. That's good, and if you want to, again, walk from one end of the room to the other. We're just getting your step count up, so that's that light cardio. Let's just keep going. So we've got a little bit of an incline here, so just increase that intensity, so just march a little bit faster for me. That's good. And what we're gonna do in a minute, we're gonna do a walk, but we're gonna add in some arm exercises. So now we're walking down St. Albans Street this time. What I want you to do with the walk is now just take it. So we're gonna add in a shoulder press. So just press your arms up and you don't have to walk backwards. So just carry on just marching on the spot. So this here now, we're making your heart work a little bit harder because we're taking your arms above heart level. So just keeping that going. Good, and just lift and lower. So I said, we've got a mix of walking and toning. Extend the arms up and then bring them down. Reach up, up and then back. So this time now, we're at the Windsor Royal Borough Museum and we're gonna do a little bit of an exercise now to tone through your inner and outer thighs. It's great for your balance, stability. And all I want you to do is knees are slightly bent and just lift one leg from one side to the other just alternating. So this lateral move is now really targeting what's known as your abductor and adductor. So this is really good for your balance, stability, and we're doing this for about 50 seconds. And also just focus on keeping those core muscles pulled in tight. And you can just see a nice view of the high street here also. Windsor and just lift from one side to the other. So make sure the toes are still pointing forwards and just lift. So you stay in that slight bent position and lift that and you'll really feel that to start to work now. So you'll feel that really activating those thigh muscles. And as we always say, it's the challenge that changes us. This is what really makes us strong and fit. Just keep going from one side to the other. So now we're in Park Street. So what I want you to do, just join in when you're ready, bring it back to a march for me. And this time add those arms, punch the arms up, in front, out to the side, up, in front and out to the side. That's good, keeping that going. 
all right well done and just reach it up so we're also working here what's known as your motor skills this is great for your agility and coordination and this is so important when it comes to fitness it's not just about being able to run it's about having good balance flexibility mind muscle connection all right keeping that going so it's up out to the side up out to the side and in front that's good so just follow what I'm doing on there so we're still walking you're still marching on the spot but we're now adding in those arm exercises on that one and we get ready to go to a new location so this time now this is just simply a beautiful blue door so we are going to do some full body moves here so what i want you to do is just follow when you're ready you're going to step one foot back then you come up then you're going to lift the opposite knee so step one foot back lift the opposite knee step one foot back and lift that knee that's good so you're just going to do eight one side then we're going to change and take that to the other leg so the great thing here with this one is we're now doing that full body move again this is really good to help endurance it's also a great cardiovascular move so now let's step the other leg back so you're going to step it back now it's the opposite knee coming up keeping that going and this one also really activates your deep core muscles the transverse abdominis you're really working that because it's helping stabilize you as you take that transition from one leg to the other all right that's it keeping that going and step that back nice slow control and we're just adding those arms as we lift that all right so let's get ready now to find a new location so now we're going to go to what's known as the long walk so now let's really take that back to that fast power march so if you're marching at home on the spot just make sure you land nice and softly or alternatively just walk from one end of the room to the other so if you're ready we can just do some more of these arms this just makes it a little bit more challenging and of course your other alternative is while you're on this walk with me if you want to you could always take this to a light jog but the idea is just take in the lovely scenery i mean look how beautiful it is here and just reach that up so arms in front and taking that up that just makes your heart work a little bit harder it just makes that marching on the spot just makes it a little bit more intense so you are getting fitter and you are getting stronger all right that's good just keeping that going doing really well and we're just going to keep walking at that fast pace we're just going to go for a few more seconds okay and also just get ready while you're marching on the spot to just meet two cute dogs so this is roxy and sally i just had to share with you these little pomeranians that were just literally adorable safe to say i wanted to take them home but i did leave them with their owner okay so for this exercise just in a split stance you're going to drive one knee up you take it behind and then drive it straight back up again so just when you're ready join in just keeping that going so this one here we're doing this on a little bridge on the river Thames nice control really use the arms change legs for me now and just drive that up so today it's quick transitions from doing our walking to then doing these toning exercises so just drive that knee up. So this is really going to work through those core muscles. Plus you're really feeling that through the arms. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go and do another exercise. So this one, let's go for straight leg kicks. And we're doing this for about 50 seconds. Each exercise varies the duration. And I don't want you to worry about the time. I just want you to enjoy moving your body, investing in your health, and just taking in these lovely landmarks of London. So this one here, nice straight back. So this is great for your abdominals. It's also really good for your legs, your arms, your flexibility, your balance, your stamina, your strength, everything. And this one is right, right outside the Royal Estate. That's good. doing really well and we're well over halfway today's workout so at the moment we're currently in Windsor but we are going to jump all over London shortly so you're going to see some more lovely landmarks so let's just keep going and um, we're going to get ready now let's just bring it straight back to a walk for me now fast walk so you can be marching on the spot or if you want to again walk from one end of the room to the other just make sure you're landing nice and softly let's just keep moving this is the whole point of this fun workout it's just an easy exercise routine that you can do at home that's just going to invest in your health now we're running up the stairs so if you can take that to a little run on the spot jog on the spot for me so you get to the top on there 
at Jennings Wharf. So we're going to go back now to the River Thames. So standing in um, a with your knees slightly bent, arms out to the side. Let's just give me tiny little arm circles. So now we're working through your shoulders and now take it back the opposite way. And you can come into a bit more of a split stance if you find that more comfortable. But this one is just an isolated upper body exercise. And I don't know if you can see behind me, that was a very large bird behind. All right, that's good. And it's just so magical seeing all the swans there on the River Thames. Okay, so next move, we're now gonna walk along this street. So let's just take that now to a fast walk. So you are marching on the spot and we're gonna get ready to now jump to another exciting location coming up in London. So let's just keep going just for about another 20 seconds. So remember, when you're walking, if you're walking from one end of the room to the other, do it with good posture. If you're marching on the spot, just keep your upper body lifted for me, your shoulders pulled back, tummy muscles in tights, so we're doing it with good posture. And just think of all the benefits for increasing your energy levels, looking after your heart health. We're gonna help lower cholesterol. We're just gonna help boost your mood. The list goes on and on. All right, so I think it's time to jump out of Windsor and go somewhere else in London. So now we're at Jubilee Gardens. So again, take that to a nice power walk for me. So you are walking around your room as fast as you can. Just look at that view there. That is an iconic sight in London. And just make sure that you are marching. If you're marching on the spot, again, do that with good posture. Let's just keep that going. and just make sure you're landing nice and softly with your feet. So obviously London is so big, so we've just picked a few locations. There will be more in these series. So let's just keep going. We're gonna do a bit more walking and then we're gonna go back to doing another full body move. And just keep walking with that good posture. Last little bit, let's just go for a few more seconds and then we're gonna see another iconic view in London. So this one here is said is called Jubilee Gardens. So now we're on the Queen's Walk. So for this one, we're just gonna step one foot behind then reach the opposite arm across and you can see the Houses of Parliament at the back there and you can also see Big Ben. So this one we're gonna do for about 60 seconds. So the great thing is here with this, really exaggerate that move. So you're really gonna exaggerate taking that arm across, stepping that foot back and behind. So again, this one here is a total up body a total body move rather keeping that going and if you want to you can add like a little bit of a jump or just keep that low impact that's good so we've nearly finished today's workout we've just got one more location so let's just keep that going and definitely do let me know in the comments box down below if you enjoy these walking out on location workouts because I can certainly do more of them for you and also any suggestions of places that you think would be really nice to do a walking workout video. So we are going to finish off now in the mall or the mall so let's walk as fast as you can last little bit and you can just see how beautiful this looks. The reason we've got all the Union Jack flags up and it's so quiet it is about to be the Jubilee weekend so that's why we got up really early Harriet and I so we could film this for you so let's just walk as fast as you can this is the last little bit of the workout so if you want to you could always bring that to a light little jog on there and just keep going and just remember what we've done today we've moved your body exercise doesn't just have to be about burpees it's about finding fun ways to keep healthy and fit and as your qualified online trainer that is my job to keep coming up with different workouts for you that are going to keep you healthy and fit at home for free all right so last few seconds and what I want you to do now is we have just reached the end of this workout. So if you can, just carry on, just marching on the spot for me, just to slowly get your heart rate back down and well done. And you can click in the link down below. I always have my um, 
little blog about the day and just showing you some behind the scenes pictures go and check that out then there's also the walk in Paris and there is soon to be walk in Venice and do let me know in the comments where else in the world you'd like to film one and really well done with today and I am going to suggest you click in the link up here in the right to come and do a cool down stretch with me and well done for today's workout and I'll see you back on my YouTube channel tomorrow.